everyone. I am Naomi Nakata. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I came here today to talk about the upcoming laws and regulations that are going to be implemented next year here in Japan uh, about drones. Now they're thinking of uh, doing a registration like the United States that all drones will be registered. So let's see the news. Japan to require drone registration to find owners following accidents. Owners of drones will be required to register their remote controlled aircraft with the government so officials can quickly identify them after accidents, according to the land ministry. The government has yet to decide when to introduce the system, but it will include the necessary funding in the rough budget for next year, officials said Monday. Under the Envision Registration System, drone owners will have to file their names and address online as well as details of their drones, such as the manufacturer, model, and weight, and submit personal identification documents. They will then receive a registration number that should be attached to the drone. The Aviation Law, last revised in 2015, bans drones flights in densely populated areas around the airports and 150 meters or more above ground without government approval. This was the previous law. Small drones weighing less than 200 grams often sold as children's toys and for hobbies are not subject to the law. Cool. Drones have been gaining popularity in recent years as tools for taking images and measurements and spraying agricultural chemicals on farmlands, among other tasks. But their widespread use has also led to more accidents, with the ministry receiving reports of 79 drone incidents in fiscal 2018. Only 79! Earlier this year, a drone-like object was spotted at Kansai International Airport at least three times prompting the closure of a runway and affecting more than 100 flights in total. The ministry will also seek money in the 2020 budget for a system that can detect unauthorized flying drones around airports more quickly, the official said. So this is the upcoming uh, upcoming thing for next year here in Japan. And previously in September they have new definitions added to the law in 2015. So they defined some things in the air spaces around airports because it was quite uh, difficult. It was quite general. So. As of September 18, 2019, airspace below approach surface, transitional surface, and above at the airport premises is added to the no-fly zone at the following airports. New Chitose Airport, Narita International Airport, Tokyo International Airport, Chubu International Airport, Kansai International, Osaka International, Fukuoka Airport, and Naha Airport. I think that's in Okinawa. Airspace at or above 150 meters above ground level. Those are the prohibited spaces. Number three, above densely inhabited districts, DID, which are defined and published by the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communication. So DID is defined as in one square kilometers, there are 4,000 individuals, registered individuals, living in that area that is a densely populated area. So, operational limitations. limitations. Regardless of where you fly, you must follow the rules listed below when flying a UA drone. UA is unmanned aircraft. Rules 1 to 4 were added in September 18, 2019. Number one, do not operate UA or drones under the influence of alcohol and drugs. That's pretty easy. 
Number two, fly and operate the UA drones after pre-flight actions. And number three, operate UA drones to prevent collisions, hazards with airplanes and other UAs and drones. Of course, who would want their drones to collide with other airplanes or other drones too? And number four, these are the new ones, do not operate the drones in a careless or reckless manner. Now, in the old laws stands like the flight and operate the drones in the daytime, operate the drones within the visual line of sight or the VLOS, keep a 30 or more operating distance between drones and persons or properties on the ground, water or surface. Do not operate the drones over event sites where many people gather. Do not transport hazardous materials such as explosives by UA or drone. And the last one, do not drop any objects from UAs or drone. If you intend to fly a drone, regardless of rules uh, 5 to 10, you must obtain approval from the Regional Civil Aviation Bureau in advance. If the above rules are violated, the UAV operator is liable for a fine of 500,000 yen. Up to 500,000 yen. That's around $5,000, I think. Is it? If number one is violated, the UAB operator is liable for imprisonment for up to one year or a fine to up to 300,000 year. Also, one year, up to one year, or a fine. That's the rule number one. And rule number one is do not operate the drones under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Okay. So, about permission and approval, you are required to submit an application in Japanese for permission or approval to the Ministry of Land Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism. That's a mouthful. At least 10 days prior to your flight. Okay, 10 days. Uh, at least it's now faster. Before, it was about mo one month. I haven't tried though, but some of my friends already did try and acquired permission to fly. So it says here that you can apply online. This is a proposal though. We don't know the final law. Uh, or what will be contained on the actual final law. So the proposal is just you have to register your drone online providing the details of manufacturer model and weight and submit personal identification of yourself. And then you will be given a registra registration number. So you have to stick the registration number to the drone that you are going to fly. So anyway, I don't know the implication of this one. Probably this is good if it's easy to do. If it's online, that, that would be okay. But anyway, I'm going to update you if there are other uh, upcoming new news about this thing about this new law so again leave your comments below thank you for watching and i'll see you again on the next video